what is the best way to display fragrance bottles and wherever you keep them. I'm going to tell you how I do it, so stay tuned. Coming up next. Welcome, everybody, to Joel the Nose. And actually, you know what? Excuse me, I put on the microphone here just so that gives a little better volume. Okay. Um, all right. Again, welcome to Joel the Nose. And today I'm going to do a video and discuss something that basically probably is one of the most common things I see in the fragrance community, chat groups, Facebook groups, right? People displaying pictures of their collections. Other than maybe someone saying, hey, here's my scent of the day and showing the bottle. I think this is probably one of the most commonly discussed things is showing your pictures of your fragrance collection. So I wanted to kind of discuss the, what I see are the five main ways really to kind of display your fragrance collection. Of course, this is by no means the only five ways and there's no correct way. So it's whatever suits you, your style, your taste, but let's kind of discuss these five ones and then I'll discuss lastly how I do it and let's try it. So uh, first way that I see a lot of people kind of displaying their brands are, or their fragrances are by brand. So for example, you see people maybe that have a lot of, say, Tom Ford private collection. His bottles are very distinct, right? So you'll see a whole section of Tom Ford fragrances. Uh, maybe you'll see a whole bunch of, you know, uh, you know, for example, uh, Parfums de Marly. Their bottles are all kind of very similar. Um, and maybe you'll see some spice bombs because they have that obviously that grenade form. So. You know, you'll, you'll see that a lot of times. I think that's a very valid way to do it because then you kind of know it's easy to find, hey, there's my Tom Ford's, there's my, you know, Parfum de Marly, there's my, you know, Agua de Gio, there's my Chanel, whatever it may be. I think that's a good way, right? So let me know if you're one of the people that displays your fragrances by brand. The second way that I see a lot is, this is a little bit more geometrical. This is probably more for the, I guess, uh, analytical people or maybe math minded people. And I see a lot of people, right, display their fragrances by the size of the bottle. So maybe you'll see all the 100 milliliter bottles lined up that have similar shapes. And then maybe the 50 milliliter bottles again have similar shapes and the 30 milliliter bottles. So kind of by size or by shape. So maybe again, you'll see a lot of similar bottles. Again, that could be by brand. Again, as I mentioned, the Tom Ford private label or whatever. But your, you know, a lot of times they may not be similar shape, but you'll have square bottles, round bottles, and people will put them all in order together. Again, if you're one of those people kind of that display your fragrances by size or shape, let me know down below in the comments. Third way I see is, and this is kind of interesting, how I I'm just gonna say how cool a bottle is, right? So this is one that you see a lot where if you have some really distinguished, cool bottles you kind of put those first in your collection. So if they're on a shelf, you know, on the wall or maybe, you know, uh, on, on shelving or whatever it may be, maybe it's, you know, your, your desk, you'll see kind of the first bottles that the first things you'll see would be your really cool distinctive bottles. And then maybe your boring ones kind of at the back. Again, interesting way to do it. Very common way to do it. Fourth way I see, and this one again is a little bit more, I think maybe for the, anal retentive or analytical person, to put it nicely, um, or actually put it nicely, the organized person. I've actually seen a lot of people organize them by price. So you'll see the more expensive fragrances towards the front and the cheaper fragrances towards the back, okay? Interesting way, again, I think it's a good way to do it, if, especially if you're trying to use maybe your more expensive fragrances to have them up close and up front and more in your visual uh, you know, your visual scope or your visual frame, that's probably a good idea. And the fifth way that I see a lot, and actually it's the way I do it, um, and I'm saving, quote, the best for last, and by all means, not the best, it's just how I do it. And what I do is I arrange my bottles, <clears throat> and I didn't do this, by the way, consciously. This was a subconscious, and that's why I did this video, because I started thinking about how in the world do I really arrange my bottles? I've never gone through a specific, I'm going to arrange it this way, right? So that's what prompted because I'm like, oh my gosh, I arrange them this certain way 
I see other people doing it all these other ways. And anyways, so I know it's a cliffhanger, right? I arrange my bottles based on how often I use them. So what I've noticed is when you look in my room at home, I have kind of a big dresser drawer that I keep most of the fragrances on that I use all the time or that I use frequently. And within that, you'll see the most frequently used bottles are towards the front. So they're closer to the edge, closer to where I'm gonna see them and pick them up and use them more. The ones that I use less are kind of tucked in the back, maybe, you know, seven, eight, nine bottles deep, whatever, however our many are in that row. So I thought that's pretty interesting. Again, that's how I do it. That's no, by any means, no correct way of doing this, but I do wanna know any of these five ways. So again, quickly, by brand, are you one of the ones who do it that way? By size of the bottle and or shape of the bottle, are you one of the people who do it that way? By how cool or distinctive or interesting the bottles are, are you somebody who does it that way? By price, do you get really hardcore and, and organized and organize them by price? Or lastly, do you do it the way I do it and organize them by the, by the frequency you use the bottles, putting the more used bottles towards the front, the less used towards the back? And lastly, again, this list is by all means not exhaustive. What are other ways you guys use or organize your own bottles in your collection? I wanna hear, this is gonna be, I hopefully an interactive kind of fun video. There you have it, this is Joel The Nose. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to support me and to watch this video and I hope you found it useful, fun, or entertaining. I'll be back soon with another video. This is Joel The Nose, peace and love.